all right welcome back you're watching maisha prime and news and my name is rida karing chabet in 2017 kenya's education system was rated as the strongest on the african continent by the world economic forum in the following year 2018 the world bank also ranked kenya as the top african country for education outcomes first out of 43 mainland countries something powerful is going on in kenya's schools that is why here every day on my show prime news we air news from different schools across the country let me usher in millicent makoha with our today's education segment St. Francis Rangala Girls High School is a public-owned girls' secondary school located at South Ugenya in Sierra County. is among the most performing public schools in Nyanza region under the energetic principal Mrs. Susan Ann Owino. Yeah, my name is uh, Mrs. Susan Ann Owino, uh, Chief Principal St. Francis Rangala Girls. This is my ninth year in this school. And when I came to Rangala Girls, I found a population of 1,346. This has now doubled because uh, right now we are, the population is 2,800 students. We thank God for the graces and, uh, that he's endowed us with and also for uh, making our school be an extra county and for enlarging our territory that is giving us the large number of students. There are many, but we are not complaining. Rangala Girls High School is also known as the powerhouse in academics. In 2015, Mrs. Susan Ann was the principal of the year in Sierra County at the national competition. Now, Rangala Girls is a powerhouse when it comes to academics, and I believe everybody knows about that in Nyanza and in Kenya as a whole. In Siaya, for the last 10 years, Rangala Girls has been topping, has been the best school in terms of uh, academic performance. And uh, we still, we are still working hard and uh, praying that the good Lord may continue making us a, a so higher and higher. Uh, in terms of uh, academics also, Rangala Girls has been a powerhouse in mathematics and the science subjects. At the same time, Rangala Girls is a TPAD model school. The TPAD brought in by the Teacher Service Commission, that is the Teacher Professional Development. We are the model school in Siaya County. In 2015, I was the principal of the year in Ugunja Subcounty, principal of the year in Sierra, Sub in Sierra County, and at the national level, I was fourth runners up. I was the fourth principal of the year at the national at, in, uh, at the national uh, uh, competition that is Kesha in Mombasa, and here is the trophy that I was given as the fourth best principal uh, of the year in 2015. The school has won various trophies for the second best national girls' schools in science, engineering, talent show, among many. Um, in terms of co-curricular activities, I want to say Rangala Girls has been doing very well. Science Engineering Fair, we are also a powerhouse. Even that our students do well in the sciences, during Science and Engineering Fair, they put down what they have in mind into practice. And we, uh, every year, uh, go to reach nationals, and we emerge either the best girls' school in Science and Engineering Fair nationally, or second best school nationally among the girls' category, and uh, nationally overall uh, we've uh, scooped trophies for the second best or third best national school in science engineering fair other co-curricular activities for example music our students reach national levels apart from the covid time from when well, since covid came these activities came to a standstill and we believe that once activities begin in earnest we will still participate well and effectively up to the national levels. 
Now, uh, talent show, it is an annual event and students are always anxious for that particular day where they showcase their talents. It's in music, in dancing, in the attires, they design their own clothes using uh, the resources available, for example, paper, banana peels, and this shows that they have skills in them, talents in them, which they can even use later on when they get outside high school. So as they wait for formal employment or white collar jobs, they can still get venture into self-employment because of the talents that they have and which we nurture in this school during a talent show when they showcase their, their, their talents. Madam Susan Ann has lauded high level of discipline displayed by the girls. In terms of discipline, I want to say our girls are very disciplined. We rarely have major discipline cases and uh, we have a very active guidance and counseling department. We have our chaplain, Father Matthew Zomogo, who is also the parish priest of uh, Rangala, uh, Holy Trinity Rangala Parish. And coupled with that, we are able to nurture our, uh, the character of our students. So generally the discipline is very good. Our spirituality is very good. The students go for mass every morning. And of course, per class, but of course on Sunday, the entire school goes for mass. Every year we conduct uh, retreats for spiritual nourishment for both the students and the teachers. Rangala Girls also has income generating activities such as dairy farming, poultry farming and school bakery. Rangala Girls also uh, has other in, uh, has income generating activities. For example, we do poultry and we also do uh, dairy farming. And from that dairy farm, we get milk, which we use for teachers, tea, and also for the students' tea. From that poultry farm, we have uh, chicken, which is uh, used within the school. And at the same time, we also sell out to other people that gives us money and helps us in uh, maintaining some of the students who are needy within the, the school. The school principal has called on the parents to enroll more students in the school because it is the school of choice. Yeah, I, I want to say that Rangala Girls is a school of choice and I want to request parents to make them their school of choice. Of course, for the parents who are already in Rangala Girls, they know that for sure Rangala Girls is a school of choice for them and for their, for their children. Many of our parents whose children pass through Rangala Girls up to Form 4 uh, they, they end up also bringing other children, other, the other siblings of these girls, and they end up also bringing their friends, you know, uh, children to this school or referring their, uh, their, uh, their other parents to Rangala girls because they know what Rangala girls is in terms of academics, in terms of uh, co-curricular activities because we are all round. We don't just rely on academics. Despite the school being on upward trend, Madam Anne has called on the government and well wishes to support the school in terms of infrastructure. Uh, even though we, we know that we are not so much endowed with infrastructure, for example, with this high population, we need quite a number of classrooms. We need 20 classrooms. But I want to thank the government because they gave us three CBC classrooms. That still leaves us uh, with a shortfall of uh, 17 more classrooms. Because of this high population, the dormitories are also over congested. And we are uh, lucky and I want to thank our parents for this. They are right now sponsoring a dormitory of 400 capacity, which is ongoing. And we believe that that will go a long way in helping us, even though it will not still it is still not enough. So we are requesting that uh, well wishers like the CDF, other stakeholders, uh, may come to our aid, so that we make Rangala girls a better school.
for my education segment, my television, I'm Millicent Makoha.